Se scegliete un gommone mettendo in cima alla lista delle qualità, If you choose a rib by putting beauty at the top of the list of its qualities, perhaps your plan is to keep it in the garage and show it off to your friends. If you choose it, considering only the comfort, maybe you plan to keep it always moored in port. But if instead you are thinking of buying a rib to navigate on the water, then make sure to watch this next test. Vale la pena di vedere questa prova. Siamo in Croazia. We're in Croatia, near Spalato, and this is Trogir. Questo invece è Open This, on the other hand, is the Open 27, a rigid inflatable boat produced by Superrim, a small and young shipyard that, however, is already known for the construction quality of its ribs and for their navigation skills. With these premises, I would say it's time to start getting to know this rib through navigation. Vorrei farvi notare che la parte del dritto verticale... I'd like to point out that the stem at the bow is very far from the water, while under the hull it has a rounded shape and blends perfectly with the keel to face the waves well. You know, I don't like the vertical bows that sink into the water on fast boats. Non mi piacciono le prue verticali che affondano nell'acqua su barche veloci. They equip the Open 27 with just one outboard, because this way the purchase price is lower and the running costs are also lower. And with two outboards, we wouldn't have such large stern platforms. In ogni caso, se volete, possono anche montarvi due motori, oppure, secondo me, la scelta giusta sarebbe... In any case, if you want, you can also mount two engines, or, in my opinion, the right choice would be a 300 horsepower engine. Although today we have a large outboard, 425 horsepower, from Yamaha, exaggerated. However, in fact, if you really want to test a hull, you really have to put the maximum power in. And we're almost there, because the approval says that we can install up to 450 horsepower, and also the maximum weight, because this is an engine with a large displacement and a lot of torque, which means that it is, inevitably, heavy. It is probably a very fast rim, but at sea it is necessary to have the means that are capable of navigating even in slow motion, just above the planing speed of around 15 knots, with an ideal trim, because when conditions get difficult, we must have the whole hull immersed, exactly as this rib does. And then, if you want to raise the bow, you do it by raising the trim. A cruising speed, typically 20 to 25 knots, keep the trim all the way down. Now, at 25 knots, we're consuming just 1.6 litres per mile and have a full tank of fuel, a full tank of water and Samuel at the bow. Well, well, how much do you weigh, Samuel? The Croatian waters are wonderful, and thanks to the presence of so many islands, they are often very, very calm, which means we can give it a little gas. At 30 knots, if you are sailing en route, meaning keeping a very specific direction, then you can give it a little trim. Consumption is only 1.8 litres per mile. If, on the other hand, you like to do a bit of slalom, then lower the trim so you will have more reactivity when you push on the gas. This is amazing. at 30 knots under acceleration. 
pass over my own waves, but I don't need to correct the rudder. I still give gas. Down fast, you have to look far ahead and be ready to cut throttle or change course to avoid another boat, an obstacle or debris. We're already at 45 knots and I have no control difficulties. What if I had to make a change of course? Can it be done? Yes. Posso farlo. I can always do it with one hand on the rudder and the other on the throttle. E l'altra sulla manetta. A proposito. By the way, full throttle. È fantastico. It's fantastic. I feel it lift out of the water, not only at the bow, but also at the stern, and in all sections. The distance of the water surface changes, so the hull is less wet. I have total control. It feels as if we're flying over the water. It's incredible, really. Let's give it a bit more trip. Five thousand seven hundred RPM, fifty knots of speed, and these load conditions. Fabulous. And if this weren't enough for you, you could always choose an even more powerful and much lighter engine, perhaps a racing model, and you could have this hull built in carbon to be even lighter. If I had to choose her based on her nautical qualities, she would be among my favourites. But now I'll stop and let you observe her. is produced by the infusion of vinyl ester resin. Many customizations are possible, including the choice of deck, hull, upholstery and tubular colours. Among the optional equipment we find the roll bar or the T-top, perhaps with a removable awning. You could also have canvas coverings that shelter the helm station from the elements. You can add a toilet, a 65-litre fridge and much more to make a rib of this length complete for a perfect day on board. The steering station is studied in detail. Whether I'm standing or sitting down, I always have the same view of the horizon. To optimise the volumes, they place the kitchen unit under the seats. The bow is entirely made of fiberglass, making it very sturdy, and the tubulars fit elegantly into the structure. These are the supports for a top that forms a large sun deck. The console, the T-top and the mobile bar are well proportioned with respect to the dimensions of the hull. The black friezes are beautiful, such as the rubbing strake on the inner tubes, the T-top supports and the plexiglass on the formwork. To open the lockers, it's not necessary to remove the cushions, just fold them. And they are counterprinted inside. Maximum cleanliness, maximum precision, everything is well finished. Gaskets, gutters, drainage hole. 
Personally, I wouldn't use teak because I prefer practicality to elegance, but it's actually very nice. The high combings here at the bow give more protection. The handle is useful, and when I lean my back, it doesn't cause any discomfort. This engine is huge, and yet look how big the platforms are. Keep an eye on this brand, Super Rib. It's a small shipyard today, but they use the best materials and the best technologies. They put a lot of passion into everything they do. Tanta passione.